The big ship could not dock at the harbour as it was too big and had to move some metres away from the harbour. Its passengers were transported with a smaller boat to land. This was the first cruise ship to arrive this season at Ludrids. Local transport operators and tour guides were standing around hoping to get one or two tourists wanting to make use of their services. But according to Marion Chalko Holland from American Liners, the company that runs the cruise ship made arrangements with their company a year ago. She explains what she offers her visitors during their limited six-hour stay in the town. First trip of the season arriving here, they, we make arrangements. She also explains that she normally trains and hires local people to work for her on these kinds of visits, where tourists come in big numbers and only stay for a limited time. I think I've got about 15 people working for me, which are not permanently employed, but that includes people in the shop, includes walking guides, management. We spoke to some of the local people who were standing around, hoping to get some of the tourists who opted to discover the town without the help of the agents. For the past years, we used to benefit, but now we are no more benefiting because those people are now just ordering those big buses from the from window. We take drivers, we are no more getting something from them. We are not happy of this bus from window which are coming here to transport the foreigners. We also have our transport in the place. But now we don't benefit anymore. Two buses belonging to a vintage based tourist company also made earlier bookings with the guests through their agents and took the guests as far as ours. Local operators who cannot afford to do that said they are hampered by issues of insurance and the demand for bigger transport like buses.